Hello dear audience, thank you for watching this presentation. My name is Matthias Rottmann and this is joint work with a lot of people from University of Wuppertal, Volkswagen Group Innovation and University of Leipzig. The title of this work is Prediction Error Meta Classification in Semantic Segmentation Detection via Aggregated Dispersion Measures of Softmax Probabilities. And in a minute it will become clearer what actually all this means. The application we deal with is semantic segmentation and in recent years deep learning has shown outstanding performances on learning how to predict such semantic segmentations. Down here there is an example image of a semantic segmentation and uh, well this can be viewed as a pixel wise classification task and after obtaining a class in each pixel we add a coloring scheme color for example the the sidewalk like pink and the trees green and so on and then you get these nice fancy images as, as seen here and we call each connected component of a given class or a given color here a segment. Yeah, segmentation and uh, semantic segmentation in particular is desirable in safety critical applications as for example automated driving or medical imaging. Yeah, this is quite nice because you get a comprehensive and precise understanding of the scenery of the image that is given. But there is of course one problem as we try to predict this by neural networks. We face the usual problems that we have with statistical models because we just produce errors with a certain probability. And in safety critical applications like automated driving it's absolutely necessary to understand these errors. A very common performance measure in object detection is the intersection over union shorthand IOU which basically measures the number of pixels in the overlap of two boxes divided by the number of pixels in the union of two boxes. So for example down here when the green box is the ground truth and the red box is a prediction. Here we have three examples for a poor and a good and an excellent prediction. So here in this example the pickup truck got labeled with this green box, the red box is predicted by a neural network and we get an IOU of um, 0.79. Clearly this IOU is between uh, 0 and 1 and 1 would mean a perfect match. Since we defined the IOU on a pixel-wise level we can transfer this concept to semantic segmentation and obtain a segment-wise IOU. So here in this example on the bottom left we have the ground truth obtained by human labelers and on the right hand side we have a prediction obtained by a neural network and obviously this neural network makes a few errors down here. For example there's a, a sidewalk prediction within this flat green area here. And um, well, if we now look at the predicted segmentation, we can measure the IOU with the ground truth. And this, this is done up here on the left hand side, on the top left. Um, we have visualization on the IOU where light green uh, corresponds to high values of IOU and uh, red corresponds to very low values of IOU and obviously these guys here, this uh, fractal shaped segments here, they have an IOU of zero with the ground truth as they do not appear in the ground truth so they are dark red while for example the street is recognized very well. The problem with this is while being on the street we don't have ground truth available and so we cannot just simply compute the IOU and therefore we would like to reliably predict the IOU on a segment level. So to predict this image up here on the left hand side. The hope is of course that the neural network is uncertain when it produces errors. And well we have a pixel wise classification task so we can basically look for each pixel at dispersion measures that we can compute from the softmax output of the neural network and then produce heat maps like these two heat maps down here where we just uh, colored um, high uncertainty red and low uncertainty white. So let's do this more formally. We have an input image x and input pixels z. 
we have a neural network which is a map f that for each pixel z produces a probability of a class y given an input image x and weights w that were obtained during training the prediction is just obtained via the argmax of uh, the classes then we can already define the entropy for example down here on the left hand side the entropy is just the usual formula as we know it probability times log of the probability with a minus sign in the front and it's normalized to zero one to be unit interval on the right hand side we have the probability margin which can be just defined as follows you take the variation ratio which is one minus the highest probability that you get and then you take this plus the second highest probability and then you obtain this heat map down here looking at uncertainty heat maps and predicted segmentations we made two important observations the first one is that we get oftentimes segment filling dispersion when we have wrong predictions or bad predictions and at the same time we often get fractal shaped segments as already observed in some of the previous images Due to these observations, we construct a set of metrics for each predicted segment. So let k be a predicted segment. Then we define the inner of k, where this is just composed of all pixels, where each of their neighbors, each of their eight neighbors, belong also to the segment k. The boundary is just the complement, and we define segment sizes just by the number of pixels. Uh, contained in the segment or in each part of the segment and then we just define mean dispersion measures d bar d bar inner d bar boundary just as the mean over the segment of the corresponding dispersion measures where the dis dispersion measure is either the entropy or the probability margin and uh, this sharp here is just a member of either nothing or the inner or the boundary furthermore we define a bunch of relative measures first of all relative sizes s tilde is the fraction of s and s boundary and analogously for the inner of s tilde and um, we define further relative measures where d bar tilde sharp is equal to d bar sharp times s tilde sharp where sharp is a member of nothing either or inner and d is yeah a member of the corresponding dispersion measures entropy or probability margin furthermore we also add the class probabilities averaged over the segment k and this in the end yields a structured data set where we have uh, lines that correspond to the predicted segments and columns that correspond to the aggregated matrix that we just defined before we move on to our actual prediction task we have a look at Pearson correlations of our metrics with respect to the IUU. We perform tests for two different networks, so two different Deep Lab V3 segmentation networks, one with an exception 65 network backbone and the other one with a mobile net V2 network backbone. The mean IOU kind of uh, signals how strong each of these networks is. So 1979 uh, is already a quite strong network, while a mean IOU of um, 61.85 is rather moderate, but this network is for the purpose of um, yeah on online computations, you could say. Um, as we see here in this table, uh, strong or, uh, correlations or anti-correlations are highlighted and for uh, for example the probability margin achieves quite good results with correlation coefficients of up to 0.85 and also we can see that the relative size measures that sort of measure the fractality of uh, segments because they uh, set into relation the boundary of a segment and the inner of a segment, they also seem to play a decent role here. So in what follows, we perform two different prediction tasks. One is called meta classification, where our goal is to predict for each predicted segment whether the IOU 
with the ground truth is equal to zero or greater than zero. So in other words, does a predicted segment to any extent intersect with the ground truth or not? And we do so by means of the previously constructed structured data set. On the other hand, we also perform a task called meta regression, where we try to predict the values of the IOU with the ground truth immediately, directly. A very common uncertainty measure is the entropy. The entropy is widely used and this is why we consider it as a baseline. So here we perform both tasks, meta regression and meta classification, both with linear models, with linear logistic regression and linear regression. Here at the bottom you see the performance measures we consider. This is once classification accuracy, classification ROC, both for meta classification and for the meta regression we consider a regression R squared. So the classification accuracy is roughly 70%, the classification ROC roughly 78% and the regression R squared is around a little bit above uh, 50%. And this is what happens when we add all other constructed metrics to the logistic regression and the linear regression models. You can see a clear increase in classification accuracy and classification ROC of up to 10% and even a more pronounced increase of say roughly 27% to, uh, in, in terms of regression R square. So we call our method MetaZec. This is version 1.0. In the meantime, we have already produced str stronger and more advanced versions of this. And you can download the code as I will uh, mention later. And finally, we have the whole picture together. So as you should remember down here on the left hand side, we have the ground truth. On the right hand side, we have a prediction obtained by a neural network, which was actually the mobile net V2. And here on the top left, we have the computed true IOU, computed from ground truth and prediction. And here on the right hand side, we have what our model gives us from the constructed metrics. And as we can see, both, uh, both images are very similar. You have to look uh, at least twice in order to figure out where are the differences. And the crucial point is once the car is on the street and we don't have ground truth available and therefore the computed IOU is not available, we can still have a decent guess, a decent estimate on this IOU by means of the constructed metrics. And let me just summarize a few important facts before I conclude the talk. So the corresponding software is called MetaZec and downloadable at GitHub. And it also contains a benchmark for uncertainty measures in semantic segmentation. Basically, you can plug in any type of uncertainty heat map and MetaZec is going to assess the quality of the heat map by discriminating between true and false positives. The complexity of inference time of this whole presented method is uh, roughly one connected component search and I would like to point you at our paper in case you would like to have a look at further results. So concluding this presentation I would like to say thank you for your attention. Many thanks to the organizers and referees and sponsors who made this online event possible. Let me also just mention that this work is supported by Volkswagen and I'm very much looking forward to answer your questions. Thank you and bye bye.